Uh, good morning, Sand Springs, and uh, all our listeners out there. Uh, I'm just going to share a, a quick testimony uh, to y'all this morning, a testimony about work. And so hopefully this can encourage some of y'all to not only just uh, have God in your uh, in your life, your kids, and everything, but also at your work at your workplace. So here I'm just going to jump into this little testimony. Uh, I took over this uh, one position as a warranty uh, manager, and then the next thing I know, our company's changing so fast, I ended up with a another boss who was over me, which would be my general manager, and uh, soon to find it, I already knew who the guy was, and I knew he was, uh, just just going to be blatant honest with y'all, he was, he's a Satanist, he's, he's uh, I mean, he's and he's outspoken with it, you look at his desk, his desk is littered with I don't know, just just all, you know, usually you have pictures of your families and stuff like that, but he has pictures of skulls and demons and stuff on this deal. Well, when he became my boss, I, I was kind of knowing this was going to be a problem because he knew who I was, and I know who he was, and, and at first it, it, it was okay, but then it got to where he knew who I was, and he, he was just making my life miserable, and then... uh so I'm a part of a small group, and if y'all are not a part of a small group, I encourage y'all to get plugged into one. And at the end of it, uh, like our small group, we always offer up, hey, does anybody have any prayer? And and finally, this this is, I was just at my wit's end. I didn't know what else to do with it. You know, usually you want to take care of stuff, especially at work. And uh, the devil knows if he wants to make a man miserable, he knows right where to hit him. And, and it's at work, because as a man, we're a provider. We want... We want to provide. Well, when things are not going at good at work, things are not going good at home with your wife, your kids. And then it rolls over into church, uh, starts taking uh, time away from your serving. But anyways, I, I introduced this to my small group. And they're like, oh, this is this is uh, spiritual warfare. Y'all spirits are. Cl-. And I, I had no idea until I was till I brought it to their attention because just in the background you, you you just think, all right, this is just work. I have to deal with it. Well, we don't have to deal with it. So I I ask for prayer uh miss charlotte y'all know her she is just an awesome uh, prayer warrior uh, i've seen her drop trees i've seen her take uh, bundles of keys like we she was selling this uh camper and there was like these five wads of keys and they were coming to look at this thing and she prayed and we prayed right on the front porch the first key she anyway she's a prayer warrior uh she texted me every morning saying hey i'm praying for you william i'm praying for you william anyways we meet on a sunday Miss Charlotte started texting me on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, every day. William, I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you. Well, be honest with you, I didn't see much of a difference because it just, and I'm not going to get into details how he was making my life miserable, but he knew where I had to be at certain times, like at church on Wednesdays. He, he immediately took that away from me. Uh, Sundays and stuff like, oh, well, we may have to start working. You know, just putting all this little stuff in my ear. So uh, by that next Monday, when I went back to work, I've got approached by his boss, which is the general manager over all the managers. And he's like, William, hey, uh, don't go nowhere. Don't leave this morning. I need to talk to you. So immediately fear sets in to me. I'm like, oh, Lord, something's done, went wrong. Because I'll be honest with you, I never said anything to to the boss that was giving me any trouble. And uh, I was you know, trying to work it out, trying to make things work, but it just wasn't working. So a fear set in, like, all right, this is, I'm probably fixing to have to move jobs or, you know, have to go to some other department or do something I really didn't want to do. But uh, he approached me, he's like, hey, uh, I've got this uh, position available. Uh, Would you be willing to to take it? And I said, yeah, I mean, I'm up. So I'm thinking things are fixing to work. I'm fixing to move. Well, he offered me, the boss that's giving me trouble, his position, and he was getting rid of him and rolling him over in another department so i just encourage you guys this morning if y'all are having trouble at work you know uh god wants you to have peace and and foremost for a man peace at work is is kind of where we need to we need to have peace at work because if we don't as a provider it, it's not going to work at home because they say oh yeah don't take your work home it's kind of hard to do that you know but i just encourage y'all this morning just uh just give it to God, you know, and basically give it to your small group. When there's a more people praying for it, hey, you got more people on your side, and and God knows you mean business, and He He wants us to have peace. Not that it's a like an upgrade to Christianity, but uh, He wants us to have peace. So uh, our our finances in order, our families in order, our 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 lives are in order. Just more to serve Him, you know. So I leave y'all with that this morning. Hopefully, it's an encouragement to somebody that hey. Uh, 
to give it to God, y'all may be having the next promotion. You know, I got promoted. It was I didn't quite see it working out like that, but hey, it did. And God always works. Whatever He meant for evil, God meant to work for good for us. So I encourage y'all this morning. Y'all have a good morning at service. Thank y'all. Amen. Praise yeah. the Lord.